I provided it to you. All right, so if we go ahead and look at this, based on our Pythagorean identities, though, guys, um, we know that we can do something with this, right? We know we can't take the general um, integral here with tangent, tangent squared, but I do know I can rewrite tangent squared as if I just subtract the 1 to the other side as secant squared minus 1. Yes? So therefore, I can rewrite this as secant squared of p minus 1 plus 4 dp. And then obviously, I could go ahead and combine this. And obviously, you could show your work, just do this in one step. But just want to show you guys this. All right. And then now by taking the integral, I look at, oh, I have secant squared. Does secant squared, uh, antiderivative of secant squared is? Tangent of p plus antiderivative of 3 is going to be just 3p and then plus c. So just remember, when you guys are seeing those um, tangents, it's very, 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 very often you're going to